Welcome to the computer age, Gadget. This newfangled tool tells us about Mad's activities in advance. It lets us monitor the city right from this office and send our men to the scene of the crime in time to catch the culprits. Man versus machine. Looks impressive, Chief. It'll be a valuable addition to the force. Unfortunately, it means we won't be needing your services anymore, Gadget. It's my sad duty to retire you from active duty. Wowzers! But Chief, fighting crime's my whole life. Besides, what can this machine do that I can't? Can it do... this? Or this? And what good is a computer without hat gadgets? No! Gadget mallet? Gadget umbrella? Gadget phone? Hello? Yes? Gadget magnifying glass? Those are great, Gadget, but the crime computer does things you can't. Like what, Chief? Locate the first capital bank. Now, watch this. Send car 86 to the main doors of the bank. Car 86, proceed to first capital bank. Await further orders by main doors. That's impressive, Chief. See what I mean, Gadget. Dismiss car 86. Tell them the Capital Bank is a false alarm. The capital of Sweden is Oslo. The capital of England is London. The capital of... That'll do. Now dismiss car 86. 86 divided by 2 is 43. 86 divided by 3 is 28 and 2 thirds. Well, of course, there are a few bugs to work out. But once that's done, we'll have the finest electronic weapon against crime ever devised. Send some repairmen right away. Well, Chief, I'll be on my way. If you ever need my services, don't hesitate to call. And good luck with your computer. Nothing lasts forever. <laughs> if Gadget only knew a mad cat, I sent those repairmen myself. Soon the crime computer will be rewired to obey my command and mine alone. My career is over. Now that my skills can't be used to fight crime, they won't be good for anything. Don't worry, Uncle Gadget. There's tons of jobs you'd be good at. Like, uh, like, um, where's the Wontad's brain? We're bound to find something in there. Well, as I always say, when the going gets rough, the tough get going. <laughs> Someone's got to pay the rent around here. It might as well be me. <laughs> You'd better go and keep an eye on him. He might need some support today. You, madam, this shoe is too small for you. Young man, I assure you, I am a size four. I've been a size four for years. Then this calls for extreme measures. Allow me. Oh, my. You heartless beast. I'm in agony. 
Get this shoe off my foot. Manager! Manager! A perfect size four. Not bad for my first customer. Hands <laughs> like yours deserve to wash dishes. That's not a bad idea. Ooh. Thank you, sir. At least some people have manners. Waiter wanted. A job worth doing is worth doing well. That's what I always say. Spotless. Ah! <laughs> well, the restaurant business is not exactly what I had in mind. How's it going? Is Uncle Gadget okay? Just make sure Uncle Gadget is all right. It's bound to get better soon. I want this building done by sundown. And you get 25 cents a window. Why, a building this size represents a sizable commission. Go, go, gadget arms! Washing is strictly for the birds. It's time to throw in the sponge. Well, now that I've been replaced by Quimby's crime computer, I have to find some other line of work. But how can anyone expect me to do an honest day's work if they keep firing me? We've arrived at Quimby's headquarters. Then proceed, gentlemen. Right, boss. You heard him, boys. Okay, Dr. Claw. Ready for a test drive. What is your command? Let's see if the crime computer can find ex-Inspector Gadget. He 
<laughs> if I can't be a crime fighter, then maybe a newspaper boy or maybe a crossing guard. Now it's time to put Gadget on the wrong side of the law. Will do. One twist of our dial and the crime computer will dispatch the whole force after him. Get him, get him, get him. <laughs> We have some new agents, Mad Cat. The entire Metro City Police Force. <laughs> Maybe this is the chance for Uncle Gadget to prove he's better than that machine. That's odd. Something's jamming my signal. Oh, I hope they're not in trouble. Hmm. No. Hmm. <laughs> Nothing much here. <laughs> Reach! We've got you covered! Resistance is useless! Huh? What's the meaning of this? Brain, you better put your hands up. These gentlemen mean business. What are you doing here, Gadget? The crime computer told us there was a gang war. Just a lonely man, his trusty dog, and some pigeons. Hmm. Scramble alert. Scramble alert. Bomb threat in Sector 13. Assemble all forces in Sector 13. Well, thanks to that newfangled computer, the force is doing fine without me. jobs we can find in this newspaper. <laughs> Not now, boy. What is it, Brown? <laughs> I'll take you for a walk as soon as I finish the paper. There just might be a job opportunity here. <laughs> TV repairman needed. No experience necessary. Apply immediately. Sounds good, Brain. An excellent opportunity to prove I'm better than a machine. Repairing TV should be a piece of cake. Yeah. Brain! Get back with that newspaper! I need the address to apply! The only thing that's keeping me from earning my living as a television repairman is that newspaper. Give it to me. Let's see. Where do I apply? Well, if it isn't my old boss's office, I guess it wouldn't do any harm to drop in on the chief, you know, for our old time's sake. Chief Quimby? Chief Quimby? There's no one here but my mechanical replacement. Hmm. 
Hmm. Hmm. The chief must have left in a real hurry. He even left this running without him. Now that's a waste of electricity. I wonder if this is the off button. Maybe it's this one. Wowzers! Must be a short circuit. I can fix that. The thing about machines is that they break down. They need the mind of a man to maintain them in good working order. You know what to do? Well, do it. Are you sure you got all of it? Right down to the last ingot. <laughs> Boss, something's going wrong. We're losing power. It's time for you to visit with your repair kit. Get in there and fix it. Right, boss. There's only one switch I haven't tried. Oh. Oh. Wowzers! <laughs> Smoke's bad for your health. Phew. I hope this works. There's the warning light. We better head back to the van for instructions. No need for professionals, I've almost got it working. Now, e easy, fellas. I was only trying to help out. Do you mind if I watch then? I'm seriously considering a career in television repair. <laughs> Ooh. What's going on here? What's all this about? Bombs being planted and gang wars. What are you doing? Over two meter, Chief. We were just following your orders. What orders? I didn't give any orders. Your computer did, Chief. What? Something's wrong with the crime computer. Everyone, back to the office. You see, over the years, these tools have proved very handy. Perhaps I have something that can help. Okay, boys, no problem. Blast! My plan was foolproof, but not gadget-proof. Curses, gadget! Curses! Hello, Penny. Hello, Chief. You're under arrest for destroying police property. Nice work, Gadget. Without your help, we never would have caught up with the culprits. Oh, Uncle Gadget, I'm so glad you're safe. Well, we rounded up all the mad agents in sight. That credit belongs to one man and one man alone. Inspector Gadget. He's worth a hundred computers to me. Welcome back, Gadget. Sorry about that, Chief. Penny, modern technology is simply amazing. Machines can help our workload enormously. But there's a lot of things to remember about using machines properly and safely. That's right, Penny. Always make sure that any appliance or machine is turned off before you plug it in. And never touch or use appliances in wet or unstable areas. Right, Penny and have faulty plugs and wires replaced immediately by a qualified repairman. <laughs> and they'll never find a machine to replace man's best friend.
gadget next time. Fox kids, Fox kids, Fox kids, Fox kids.